Hello everybody and welcome back to Paper Mario and this is part 10. So we're we're finally getting to the dry dry desert portion. And um so in the last part there we uh we went through Mount Rugged and we fought uh, the little uh bird bounty hunter. So now we're moving on from there, and so uh, right now I'm, I'm having a uh, parry carry uh, in my party here, and uh, we're going to see the first time of me giving someone a letter stuff there, so we'll be, this is how it works there, you gotta have parry carry here, or para carry I should say. And, um, and, uh, he, he, after you talk to somebody, he'll say, like, oh, you're so and so, right? Well, I got a letter for you. And you just pick the letter. I don't know why he doesn't, uh, so, like, automatically give the letter, um, like, because, like, if you only have one, then why do I need to pick that only one? Because I can see if you had multiple, it would go, okay, which one do you want to give to him? Then, you know, give to the person, then I could see why you would do that. So, right here, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting um, just two new ones uh, that we're coming across here. Uh, these are the bandits, and these guys, as uh, Goombario will... He'll, he'll mention it. Um, basically, what these guys do is they bump into you, they cause damage, and then they steal your uh, your coins. Um, usually, it's I think it's between I think he said I think it said it's up to ten coins. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's like it can go more than ten, but um, right here I'm I'm actually going to use my thunder rage to actually get rid of everybody, which. Um, it's kind of a good idea because of the big group here and um, and as you can see I had 95 star points there so I'm actually really close to leveling up here so um, this next one uh, that we're coming come against is the pokies so these are the normal pokies they are spiked enemies so don't jump on them and um, basically, they the thing is with these these ones here is that if you use um, a Cooper, it actually takes away one of their snack balls that they that they have. So um, eventually, it'll bring them down to just their head, and they'll just become like I don't they don't become weaker or anything. They just uh, they're more. I guess easier to deal with because then now they don't have anything to hit you with um, See like here they can actually throw their body parts at you Which if you actually I, th I think if you timed it right uh, they don't really do any damage so but, uh, So well, there we go, so I leveled up here and I actually pick HP for this one Because uh, right now, I don't necessarily need um, BP at this point because I, I'm pretty good right now. I don't have any new, like, uh, badges that I need need to equip or anything. I mean, it would be nice to have more badge points, but it's not necessary. Um, but anywho, um, so be careful when you're going across, like, that tornado right there. If you actually run into that, he'll, um, shoot you up in the air, and you will go to a... It's not a random, um, part of the desert here. There's actually... They, they're the link to a, um, to a different position in the, uh, the dry dry, um, desert here. Um, so certain ones will actually bring you to another screen that might actually have, um something that you'll want um like i think actually there i believe there's actually one that actually gets you on top of a rock that you can't get up there normally and 
Um, I believe there's an, um, um, an item there. I think it's called a runaway badge. Um, that allows you to gain the stars that you've collected so far from battle, and if you ran away, you get those stars. So, I guess it's sort of useful. But, yeah. So, we get to this, uh, this is the oasis, uh, thing of the, of the desert there. This is, uh, I don't know why there's an oasis here, but this is here. Um, you'll actually want to hit that one tree to get the, uh, the lemon. Not the lime, the lemon. And that will come into play later. And this right here is an upgrade block, and pretty much, uh, you can upgrade anybody you want here. And, um, what it will do is it will give them a new technique, and it will increase their attack by one. So, I picked, uh, Cooper because he is more useful in this section here because the, uh, well, for one, the pokies and the bandits there. Um, uh, now that he's powered up, he'll actually now do three, and it will actually either one-shot everybody or it will actually, um... Now, Mario and Cooper both together can do, um, five damage together. Um, so that could get rid of, if there's a group of, of bandits, um, you know, let's say like three of them, you know, then I can get rid of them using the quick hammer and Cooper's power shell and that can eliminate them. Um, so that's pretty handy. So right here, so now we're in, um, I think this is called Dry Dry Outpost. Um, this is the, the town here. Um, there's nothing much here. Um, just, I think there's like this two screens and that's it. Well, yeah, two screens. And, uh, this is, this, uh, that mouse going, that is story. And, um... We actually had to find someone named, uh, Mouse-Dofia. Mouse, uh, mouse -dofia. uh, it's like Mustafa, but with the mouse motif to it, you know. And, um, this guy right here, if you give him a lemon, he'll say, oh, well, right here, he'll say, oh, wow, you're the nicest, uh, the nicest of nice things. And, uh, he will tell you, uh, one secret, or tell you something... Um, in return, and if you ask how to meet, uh, Maustafia, yeah, um, then, uh, you'll be able to move the story along. So, what you have to do here is to figure out who, where he is, you have to go to the item shop and buy a, um, what he tells you here, a dried shroom first, and then a dusty hammer. So, if you buy... A dry shroom and then a dusty hammer that will be the the item shop owner will be like oh that's the secret code to uh to finding him uh, you must be part of the group so then you can say so then he'll be like well how do you what do you want to know about him and it will be like how to meet him and so we'll we'll see here how that all plays out here. Uh, now, if you go, uh, there is a, a section that if you go in the back, uh, in between the buildings there, there's actually a, um, uh, one of, uh, Merlon's relatives that could do a special, like, uh, I guess, I don't want to say it's a curse, but it's like a special, like, spell on you to that, um, she'll help you out, uh, randomly at times to help you out. Um, now there, there, there are three levels, or there's two levels there. I, th I think there's two or three. There's one level where it's just like a basic one where she'll show up, like, only an X amount of, like, a very few times there, and then that's it. Um, and that's whatever. But the, the spell itself, though, is still the same for each level. Um, it just means, the, the highest one is, like, I think it's like 50 coins, I think. Um, and that just, it lasts a long while, and then, um, and after that you have to go back and, and do it again. Um, but basically what it is, is that, um, when she shows up, she'll either, um, help you, it, 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 when she does show up, if it's after your turn, 
and she shows up when the enemy is about to attack it will usually mean that she's helping you with your defense and I think I don't know how much she boosts your thing there but it's a good it is a good boost and it's the same way as if Mario is attacking and she shows up then it will increase Mario's attack and if it's after battle usually uh, well and there's also another thing to where if the battle ends and then she shows up that means she's gonna increase how many star points you have which is actually I think it's usually double your star points so if you have um, you know 10 or 20 star points gaining um, and then she shows up she'll double that and it'll be you know 20 or 40 um, star points and then if it's after the battle you know where you go back to like the main like out of battle screen there um, and then she shows up it she will increase the amount she'll double the amount of your uh, coin droppage that you had gotten so like if the the enemy is gonna drop like let's say five coins um, when she shows up there, she'll double it to 10 coins. And it's basically, she just doubles stuff there at times. And with your attack and defense there, she just kind of like adds like, um, I think it's, a, I think it's like three to five, I think. I'm not really sure how much she like adds to you, but, but anyways. So this is, uh, Maustafia. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Um, he will give a, uh, he will give us a stone to actually locate the actual dry dry ruins, which are buried. And, um, so, I was gonna say, I wonder how, um, <laughs> I don't know how everything survived in, uh, when it's buried like that, because, uh, the air will like get out and um not much can survive down there and um but or i don't know i guess because bowser has the star rod there i guess he can magically do stuff <laughs> so basically uh mouse stuffia is just mentioning that uh he is uh the descendant of the uh, like a guardian kind of thing for the ruins to, you know, prevent, um, like someone finding it and like causing chaos, I guess. I don't know why that place would cause chaos, but, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Miami letter was, uh, as you're probably noticing, Miami letter was during all this record this recording session there it was slowing down for some reason i don't know if there was uh, might have been something going on in the background that was kind of like slowing it down maybe i don't know but um so we just so he just gave us the stone there so now what's going to happen is when we go back outside um to the desert um there will be a thing that will show up above Myers' head and it will um like my stuff to you probably just you probably noticed that he said um it will kind of blink and the faster it blinks the closer we are to uh to the the ruins there so really just kind of go into a zigzag formation up to the to the upper left here like i'm doing here and you see the little icon above mario's head that will that will show you uh, that if you're getting closer or or away from it, and it's basically in the middle of the desert and in the way back of the the desert there. So if you look at the map, it'll kind of be like in the middle and the way back. So we're just about there. Just be careful not to run into enemies if you don't want to. And there it is. If you find this uh, thing right here, you can put the stone in, and it will do this. And I did a little uh, fast forward right here, because it was like it w it was slowing down for like almost I think it was pretty close to a like a minute, and I sped it up really good. So um, after I, it got it got done doing the going dark transition, and then then it then this now it's going normally here. So we get this little cutscene of the. Uh, the uh the place opening up now it's kind of funny is uh this place is dark right now but then when you go inside and then come back out 
Uh, it's back, it's back, uh, bright again. That's kind of weird, but... I thought it would have been nice if it actually stayed dark, like, in this screen here, but, um, I guess that's whatever. So, there's no save point outside there. Once we go inside there, there's actually a save point there. I didn't need to go to this heart block there. And, uh... Yeah. Once we go inside there, the uh, the actual the boss of this place there will actually talk to us, uh, in a ma you know, through magic. And uh, once we once he is done talking, I will go to that save point there, and that will be at the end of this video here, and we'll be getting to um, the dry dry ruins there. So I will see you guys in the next episode there. So take care. So anyways, that's the end of this video here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Twitter. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So peace.